We are here and we are strong Let's be counted as we move on Make a difference, change lives As we tell our different stories We are capable, beautiful We are born to do great things We're unstoppable, incredible Cause we're differently able differently Hello there and welcome to a program like no other. This is Able Differently. I hope that you're keeping safe, you're washing your hands with soap and water, sanitizing and maintaining social distance. Welcome, my name is Caxton Osozie. Cause we're differently abled, differently. April is Autism Awareness Month and on Able Differently, we applaud parents and caregivers of persons with autism. We take time to talk to Agri Sagwe, an occupational and neuro rehabilitation therapist, about autism. Take a look. Autism Spectrum Disorder, ASD, simply known as autism, affects 1% of the world population, according to the Center of Disease Control 2014. Children with autism are mostly misunderstood due to their nature and most people will avoid interacting with them as Agri Sagwe, an occupational and neuro rehabilitation therapist, explains. They don't involve in their psychosocial plays with other children of the age set. You can find that they want to play on their own. In a group of ten, they just define their own play and they get involved into it, which is very abnormal. You expect them to be centered in a group and involve themselves in a play. Children with autism tend to focus on one item, one among the many symptoms that can be seen early in childhood. They are characterized with their own way of attention. They don't want to be involved in parallel stimulus works and plays. In terms of uh, decreased verbalization, in terms of their communication skills, they usually rely on nonverbal communication skills, using signs, tapping, trying to tap the parent. They communicate through the tantrums. They just want to communicate in an aggressive manner or a rowdy manner to capture that attention maybe to communicate they want food or they want to change from one avenue to another there is a refusal to eat uh, the lumpy foods normally they have a problem in terms of dieting in some understanding there's what they say, it is a gastrointestinal stimulus condition. They are oriented to one type of food and doesn't like another type of food once they are used to a certain type of food. They have an obsession, which brings about an obsessive compulsive disorder. We have the withdrawal and unresponsiveness to the parents, unable to identify our parents and a relative or a friend giving a different structure of bond, they normally don't give that frame. They have an extreme resistance to change from one position to another, from one environment to another. They have inappropriate attachment to their parents. They have a self-stimulating behavior. The self-stimulating behavior in terms of having a typical way of doing their own things that they cannot change the manner of presentation irrespective of the stimulus change. They always want to get adapted to a specific way. Children with autism can also learn only that the level of grasp and understanding is what varies with the condition affecting more boys than girls. Go to sports, 
I go to learn. I go, go to school. I brush my teeth. I wake up. Okay, now continue writing the activities up to now since the time you woke up, okay? And then I told you you have to hold the pen nicely the way I told you, okay? Yeah, write the pen nice, you hold the pen nicely. Yeah, good that way. In terms of learning, some may come up with the specific learning disorders like dysgraphia. In many cases, the autistic child doesn't involve themselves in writing, causing a problem with the dysgraphia. In an in a, in academic settings, normally, writing is essential, but this child might not choose to write or might use to write awkwardly. In other cases, the, some develop mathematical disorders, normally referred to as dyscalculia. Some develop dyslexia. From changing from one psychological stage to another in the academic framework, they give, with the insisting and uh, evidence-based learning, that one helps them to develop skills. These skills of communication will develop, the learning skills will develop, which can be an alternative to other things. For example, they can be able to communicate in terms of word by typing. Some are very good in computer work, typing, but cannot be able to write. In terms of statistics, it occurs five in, in 10,000 cases affecting more of boys than girls. This can therefore pose a challenge to the inclusive education where integration needs to be done. In terms of uh, integration to the ministry and uh, normal learning, it is important to understand that the autistic child have different levels of performance capacity. They are, ve they are autism people with very high functioning capacity and cognitive capacities. Unlike others who are ha giving out a very negative or low cognitive capacity. In terms of learning and the syllabus that we have at the moment, the learning, the special needs learning is very structured and very important they have their own syllabus. The syllabus that is guiding them and giving out specific goals that are set between them in reference to their understanding and levels of performance. And as the world grapples with the coronavirus disease, there is less information on persons with disabilities and how vulnerable they are. However, Dr. Agri says that so far, persons with disabilities should take the laid down precautions just like any other person. The relationship of uh, COVID-19 to autism spectrum disorder, that one will take a normal case. Autism is an upper motor neuron problem or a disorder affecting the brain. You can't say that uh, the autistic child is uh, at risk factor to COVID-19 than a malaria patient. No. Everyone is at, everyone is at risk to the COVID-19 because in this setting they are normally the kids the kids and the adolescents that are affected by the autism. So if you are a kid and you get exposed to the COVID-19 environment without taking 
necessary measures, you still can contract it. From the same way, every other person can contract it. There goes my heart beating Cause you are the reason I'm losing my sleep Please come back now I climb every mountain I swim every ocean Just to be with Cause I need you to see that you are the reason. And if I could turn back the clock, I'd make sure the light defeated the dark. I'd spend every hour of every day keeping you safe. And now, let us take a short break. We'll be right back. Cause we're differently abled, differently. Welcome back. If you've just joined us, then you are watching Able Differently, a program where we take charge. John's mother suffered mental illness and his aunt Tabitha came in as a caregiver since John was diagnosed with autism. Take a look at this story. Tabitha and Jerry took up the role of taking care of John who was diagnosed with autism after his biological mother suffered mental illness. Mimi ni anti yake John. Na tumekuwa tumetukishi na yeye kwa kwa muda mrefu kuanzia mamake alipogonjeka. Mamake amekuwa na shida ya akili 
na angeweza kumlea sasa ndio kwa maana nikachukua hilo jukumu la kuweza kumlea aya ndio hiyo john 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 her love for children and the fact that blood is always thicker than water push her to take responsibility of her nephew john kwa kawaida damu huwa nzito kuliko maji na pia upendo ambao nakwanga nao kwa watoto napenda watoto na siwezi yachilia hata mtoto kama si wangu ateseke na jaribu hata kama sina huo uwezo mkubwa chochote kidogo niko nacho na uwezo kidogo niko nayo ndio naweza kumlisha huyu kumlisha mamake jo mamake ana kazi sasa hivi hakuna kitu anafanya John's autistic nature did not hinder Tabitha from enrolling him to a school. Akakuwa kama watoto wengine nomo. Juu alichelewa pia kutembea. Alafu sasa pia kuongea ilimchukua muda. Sasa tulikuwa tunadhani juu akiwa mdogo kuna vile aliadhirika akachomeka. Na hapa kuanzia mdomo mpaka hapa tu. Na alikuwa na kwa mgonjwa mara nyingi. Sasa tukadhani hiyo mgonjwa ina ina mo affect ndio aongee atembee haraka aongee lakini alikuja akatembea alafu ni mai sasa kuongea ndio ikakuwa shida ndio tukaamua sasa tumpeleke shule special after tumeshaambiwa na daktari ako na autism ndio tukaanza kutafuta shule ili anaweza some because of the education that he has been receiving John is now able to engage in various activities kabla aingie shuleni uko na muita hakuwa kitika hakuwa ana respond but sasa ukimuita John ana anakuangalia na ana respond anakuja kwako ukimfa kwa ukimwambia afanye hivi anakuambia yeye usikia kuongea tu ndio ongee na ni mtoto mchangamfu aki anafanya activities moba melan kwa shule anatengeneza necklace anafanya mambo nyingi sana hata ukimpatia kifagia anaja kufagia anajua kupanguza meza hata shamba anajua vile analala na kiona nyanya yake akifanya pia anafanya nenda kwa shamba anachukua anajua ku improvise vitu sasa akiona nyanya yake ni ni panga na yeye anachukua pipe pipe ndio panga yake anaanza kufanya mambo yani ako na akili with the responsibility of taking care of John and herself resting squarely on her shoulders Tabitha has to find means for survival. Mimi wenda saa zingine nenda kazini kwa kikomba tunajaribu kuza vitu hivi ndio pate kitu kidogo cha kuweza kumlea. Saa zingine lazima mpande gari mkikuja. Sipokuwa hivyo inabidi mtembe mguu kwa 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 ka distance hivyo ndio mfike shule. Na pia chakula yake kuna chakula nafaa kula. Afai kuna vitu afai kukula lakini zile anafaa kukula zinakuwa ni za bei ya hali ya juu Virginia Wanjiru John's grandmother showers him with praise and leaves parents out there with a word of advice John ni, ni, ni mtoto mzuri lakini haogei haogei ako na shida ya kuogea daktari alituambia ako na autism nikewa nikewaeleza wasasi kama hawa waonyeshe upendo kwa watoto kama hao. E, kwa sababu ni watoto wa Mungu na Mungu anawajua na Mungu atawasaidia. March 26th is marked as the Purple Day globally. On this day, persons with epilepsy are encouraged to seek medical treatment since epilepsy can be managed. Despite the coronavirus pandemic, this day could not go unnoticed. Take a look. March 26th every year is an Epilepsy Awareness Day globally. Also known as the Purple Day, it is mainly set to encourage persons with epilepsy to seek medical treatment since the condition is manageable.
Early this year, the world was hit by the coronavirus disease and therefore made it impossible for people to gather to mark this day. Every year on 26th of March, we celebrate an Epilepsy Awareness Day uh, called Purple Day. This year, we were planning a lot of activities to happen, but because of the government directives and being able to uh, make sure that the infection for COVID-19 doesn't spread among people, we have um, postponed most of the activities that are supposed to be done in the public. Here in Kenya, Angaza Kifafa campaign under the National Epilepsy Condition Committee marked the day the best way that they could. We've done about 17 counties now over the five years of a campaign called Angaza Kifafa. And this year we look forward to taking it even further as we proceed to other counties that we have not reached out to with information of awareness, training the doctors, as well as training the community health workers. The UAP tower was lit purple to stand in solidarity with persons with epilepsy. The management of UAP Old Mutual Tower together with the National Epilepsy uh, Coordination Committee and other stakeholders in the epilepsy care, including hospitals and other organizations and institutions, will be marking this day by lighting that building purple. It is very significant because at the end of the day, purple signifies you know, epilepsy awareness globally, and it's one of the activities we thought that will bring people together, even in the midst of what is happening, to actually let them know that epilepsy is still important and we are committed to see that uh, everybody gets information. Because we're differently abled, differently. Let's take a look at the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability. Article 6 of the UN Convention states that State parties recognize that women and girls with disabilities are subject to multiple discrimination and in this regard shall take measures to ensure the full and equal enjoyment by them of all human rights and fundamental freedoms. There is this Swahili saying that goes, Kilicho na mwanzo hakikosi kuwa na mwisho. And that's how we come to the end of Elbow Differently. Join us next week, same time, same place. My name is Caxton. Also, here. Goodbye.